If you're still washing your dishes with a sponge, <laughs> many of us are. You may want to change your ways. Doctor researchers say that a kitchen sponge can harbor more bacteria than a laboratory petri dish, and that sounds really disgusting. I know. I have to say, I texted my family afterwards, and I was like, "That's it. Throw away all sponges." <laughs> but this is really important information to know. These were researchers at Duke University, and they found that a kitchen sponge is a better incubator for a variety of bacteria than a petri dish which is actually designed to grow bacteria. Oh. Not only can sponges trap leftovers allowing germs to thrive, but the structure of a sponge itself promotes bacterial growth. They sort of compared it to people living through a pandemic. Some people hate feeling isolated while others love it. <laughs> Same with bacteria. And because sponges have lots of nooks and crannies, they allow all types of bacteria to live their best lives. The loners as well as those that like to socialize. So instead of using a traditional kitchen sponge, you might be better off with a scrub brush. One of our producers says that she uses one of those silicone brushes that yeah. you can easily wash and throw in the dishwasher. Oh, that's a good idea. Right. This is soul crushing for me as well because I also like to use sponges. What about a, sp a sp brush with the sponge on top? Right. That's like the brush. Oh, well, yeah. the sponge, but no. it has a sponge. Yeah, I no. use the one with the brush on top. All right, doctor. Yeah, get, the, get rid of the sponges, okay? Good to know. Right. Doctor, thank you as always.